This local sports report is brought to you by M&T Printing, offering banners, brochures, business cards, and more. Check out their website for a wide range of printed products at mtprint.com. Together on three, one, two, three. Together on three, one, two, three. Family. Together on three, one, two, three. Let's go. Let's go, D. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Opening day in District 10 football, Nico Jean Gaston leading John F. Ross into battle as they face the Bishop McDonnell Celtics on Friday afternoon. Both teams hoping to start this season with a victory. Opening quarter, it's a strong start for the Royals defense. Ty Dokus delivering a big hit as he records a sack, Dokus leveling Celtics quarterback Jackson Malone. Later, it's Malone's scrambling around looking for an open receiver and he runs out of time. It's Cam Snook with another sack for John F. Ross. Later, how about this hit by Marco Piccioni? He drills Callum Williams in the backfield. The game is scoreless after the opening quarter. To the second now and more huge hits. Oh! oh. Dear. That is a bone-jarring hit from Ty Dokus. However, he is flagged on the play for unnecessary roughness. Ralph DeBell would be okay. He stayed in the game, and a little later, he rips off a big run. DeBell taking the ball inside the five-yard line. Bishop Mack is looking to strike first. Next play, it's a direct snap to Jack Shoniker, and he scores. Shoniker taking it to the end zone. The Celtics on the board first. They take a 7-0 lead. Back come the Royals. This is Nico Jean Gaston on the quarterback keeper. He is motoring down the field and takes the ball inside the 10-yard line. Here comes JFR and a few plays later, it's a handoff to Sam Utting. He runs right and he finds the end zone. The Royals back on even terms after a terrific drive. It's 7-7. Still in the second, here is Jackson Malone connecting with Kane Lee. That's a first down for the Celtics. They are looking to strike before the half is over. Final minute, Malone faking the handoff, and he also fakes out our camera guy. It's a pass for Jack Shoniker. He scores his second touchdown of the night. Bishop Mack is back on top. 14-7 Celtics at the break. Third quarter, how about some great defense from BMAC? Ryan Wolf and Marco Piccioni combining for a sack on this play. The Cambridge Lions duo getting it done. Later, the Celtics now with possession. And check out this catch by Kane Lee. The ball is tipped, bobbled, and caught for a first down. Outstanding play there from the Celtics wide receiver. Let's move to the fourth. Nico Jean Gaston hitting Max Nixon, and he's going going to score. Touchdown Royals. We've got a new ball game. It's 14-14. Later, the Royals once again with possession. It's third down and short, and it's a huge play from Nico Jean Gaston. He keeps it and picks up a first down. Move those sticks. The Royals looking for the lead, and it's another quarterback keeper for a touchdown. Nico Jean Gaston punching it in. John F. Ross is up 20 14 with just over two minutes left in regulation. Final minute, one last chance for the Celtics. They are driving. Jackson Malone in the shotgun. He fires downfield. Ty Dokus breaks it up. Dynamite from Dokus and the Royals hang on for the victory. They take it over the Celtics. 21-14 is the final on Friday night. For more highlights, visit our website, 519sportsonline.ca. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.